Chapter 84, Spider vs. Fire Drake 5. And if I'm a little aggressive, it's because this is my third time trying to record this episode. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Enough about the fact that I... <laughs> no, I shouldn't rush it. Enough about the fact that I escaped to the ceiling. The situation is not very good. My movement is slower. Be well, ah. And I still fuck up. <laughs> my movement is slower when I cling to the ceiling than that time I'm on the ground. Than the time. I had to do my best even on the ground, so I can never be able to keep avoiding the eel's attack. If I don't return to the ground quick, I will get sniped. However, it's hard to say the eel has composure. The eel's MP decreased considerably. If I convert the remaining MP, it will be 3 flame breath and 16 if it's fireball. If I compare it with the beginning, it has considerably decreased, but it has enough strength to shoot me down who's at the ceiling. Either I return to the ground first, or the eel shoots me down first. I begin to move, head for the nearest wall, but it looks like the eel anticipated it. Fireball is shot accurate. Oh, oh, burped. <laughs> Fireball is shot accurately to obstruct my movement. It's difficult to avoid if I'm clinging to the ceiling. I can't be concerned about my yellow gauge now. I evade the approaching fireball with all my speed. I have no choice but to push through by push through by relying on SP consumption down and SP recovery speed. I must get close to the wall at all costs before my yellow gauge is exhausted. I somehow manage to avoid the approaching fireball, but because of that, I can't reach the wall. Meanwhile, my yellow gauge decreases. This is bad. If my yellow gauge is exhausted, even clinging to the ceiling will be hard. I must evade that alone at all costs. Uh, although I think about it, uh, think about that. Because of the perfect fireball sniping, it won't advance as I thought. And finally, my yellow gauge was exhausted. Tiredness attacks my body at once. The fireball approaches there without mercy. Kuh! I judge that I can't avoid it, and naturally I jump into empty air. The fireball bursts nearby and the blast strokes my body. I somehow manage to control my spinning body and I fire a thread. The string that sticks in the wall is immediately drawn. A fireball passes through the empty air where I was a little while ago. My body swings like the pendulum and I succeeded in landing in the ground without falling into the magma. Also, Spider-Man that shit. A fireball flies towards there without mercy. With the momentum of the landing, I roll to avoid the fireball. It's painful. As a compensation that I kept moving even if the yellow gauge is exhausted, I taste a severe suffocation. The physical weariness that assaults my whole body in pain. I ignore it by force with the power of pain nullify and pain alleviation. Because the eel is preparing a flame breath. I whip my trembling body and run at full speed. The edge of my view is dyed red by the flame. Heat approaches from the rear. I run to shake it off, and I avoided the flame breath. Skill proficiency reach. Skill evasion level 6 has become evasion level 7. After avoiding the flame breath, I breathe out uh, my accumulated breath. <laughs> my yellow gauge begins to recover. No fireballs flown anymore. Finally, the eel's MP is exhausted. The eel that lost its long distance attack slips to the land and makes, it makes its appearance. Only the face looks like an eel. The, uh, uh, the one over there has a close resemblance to the Orient Dragon. It's a drake that had a long body. Even if its MP is exhausted, my appearance is caught in its eyes as usual. It seems that I have been recognized completely as an enemy. At first, I might want to crush. it might want to crush me because I'm an eyesore, but I started to get serious on shooting its fireballs midway. It, com it started. It's completely serious when it breathe when it breathe out breathe out when it breathe out it's flame breath. <laughs> Fucking up all around. Apparently, it seems that it's not pleased that I kept avoiding. Even if I escape like this, I don't think it will overlook me. Although my MP its MP is exhausted, its SP is still in good health. To compare that, my SP is considerably scraped. At the, as the con compensation to keep moving even if my yellow gauge is exhausted, the amount of bread stamina gauge has decreased to the extent that it can't be ignored. Because there's still the overeating skill stock, I won't be able to move in instantly, but when it comes to a physical strength match with the eel, I will surely lose. It's impossible to get away. Then there's only one chance. I have no choice but to fight and win. When seeing the numerical value of the status, I don't have chance to win, but it's not all about numerical value. Although it can be understood if I fight even if it's unpleasant, skill is the most important element in this world. In the first place, with this much difference in the numerical value, it's a miracle that I'm still alive. The skill is certainly that one's that's uh, the one that's causing this miracle. The power of the skill is demonstrated to its maximum, and because it fits the difference in the status, thus I succeeded in making the yield to crawl up the same area. Arena. It, it might have supposed to have been a rare area. I don't know, I guess arena, whatever. Although the difference in the status is certainly a big difference, it's not an absolute difference. It's a difference that's enough to be overturned by the skill. And all the eel's skills were seen through. 
Now that SMP is exhausted, the skills that I need to be cautious are accuracy and evasion and the probability correction combo, and its defensive ability by Dragon Scale, the level 3 technique of Fire Drake, and the simple physical ability from the large build. It's a fairly formidable enemy even if I see this much, but I still have my trump card, my strongest weapon, Deadly Poison Attack. Defensive ability is useless against this attack, it can even corrode the defensive of the scales and the deadly poison will ruin your body. To that end, I can only rely on my skills. I'm only surpass it in skills. But there's also a possibility to surpass it, both of us lack of defensive ability. If the attack is decided, the win is decided, a match of one hit kill. Then, the one that becomes the winning move of this match is... And the second round of the ground will begin with a signal! <laughs> nice little cliffhanger there, I like that.